You can only record eight so, minutes. So, the next thing I want to show you guys. Hose barbs. They are the little pieces on a lot of these uh, fittings that will actually fit inside the hose, put a clamp on them, it seals the hose to the fittings. And they work on both the rigid suction pipe and the lay flat discharge pipe. But they're difficult to get in because they need to be tight to make a nice seal to actually take that and push it in the hole in, in the pipe itself is very tight and very hard. There are some tricks. Heating the suction pipe uh, and if I'm in the field or out somewhere I can use like a campfire to heat this or I got a heat gun here. If we heat the suction pipe up nice and hot, plastic gets soft. Are you screwing up the video? No, I'm just Is that what you're laughing about? I'm zooming in on that. Okay, the uh, plastic the gets angles. nice and hot and expands a little bit and then the uh, Hose barb slips in quite nicely. Now you got to be careful because it does get hot enough that uh, the plastic would burn you when you're doing this. So when you're sort of testing it to see how hot it is, you just have to make sure it's not so hot that you're going to get a yeah, squeal in pain afterwards. I've used a propane torch to do this as well. It works just fine, although it does scorch the, pl the plastic just a little bit. Oh, she's getting hot now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so it's hot. It's hot. And it actually holds its temperature pretty good for a while. The other trick is to use a little tiny bit of grease on that hose barb itself. Oils work, grease work. Now you don't like grease and oil around gold mining equipment because um, if you ever get any grease or oil on gold, it floats and goes away. So you don't want to add a whole bunch and you definitely don't want to have it like dripping down inside the pipe, but a little tiny bit on that hose barb will help it slip in. A little bit of heat to soften that plastic, a little bit of grease or oil, and it'll spin in there nicely. Just like that. Now, one thing I didn't do is I didn't put a clamp on first. It is easier if you slide the clamp on first rather than doing it after the fact, but you can open up these clamps and slide them on after the fact. Is that enough? There we go. And bring a flat screwdriver over. Can someone grab me a flat screwdriver there, please? Thought I had one. Okay. There's the hose barb. I'll talk about um, I'll talk about the pipe clamps in just a second. Put hose barbs onto lay flat pipe. You don't have to heat it up, but a little bit of grease does help. Here's a different type of hose barb. We'll use that instead on this one. A little bit of grease, not much, not much. And really, you only have to put it on the barb part, the little raised part there. It doesn't need to be much, just needs to be enough to let it slip in. Get it in there. And right on, just like that. Take that off for a second. Put a hose clamp on there. Is that the right size hose clamp? That's the wrong size hose clamp. There's the right size hose clamp. And slip that on. Just like that. Okay. Hose barbs. Now, hose barbs aren't used by themselves. If I just suck that in there, it would possibly leak a bit, or if I had it on the pressure side, it would blow off. We have to use a pipe clamp on there to hold it in place so it doesn't go away. You can use two. Often people will put two pipe clamps side by side, gives them a bit more protection against one failing or it slipping off. But on most of my equipment, I just use one. Some hose barbs have flats, and if you clamp right on, if you put your hose clamp right on the flat and sit, sink, it, sink it in there, it holds nicely and seals perfect right against the barb. On these kind here, uh, you actually just suck it right down on the ridges themselves. Don't stab yourself with a screwdriver while you're doing it. That might not be a good thing. 
Yes, it does hurt. Okay. And don't go crazy tight with uh, hose clamps. Go tight enough that it's going to seal and grab and hold there, but don't reef down on it. You don't want to actually have the sharp edges of that sheet metal and the hose clamp actually cutting into the hose. Same thing on this, we just tighten that in and seal it on there nicely. Anyone, anyone have an idea why I have big gobs of duct tape around me? Because it might leak. No, it, and just duct, get, duct tape oh. would not seal in any way. I have a good idea. Sure. If yeah. you notice when I put this on here, there's a little piece of uh, hose clamp that sticks off. On the clamps I had on here, it was sticking off at a nasty angle and actually one time when I went and pulled the hose, it uh, went right through my hand and slipped me open a bit. Oh. So I just wrapped them in duct tape, just to protect that sharp edge so it doesn't cut me. You don't need to do that, it just helps a little bit with those sharp edges. Question? 